Okay, Collective, I'm back because I was being led to give a visual out to um, a specific masculine energy that keeps watching my channel and not speaking up. It's a Sagittarius. I don't, it's a couple of them that I don't know nothing about. I don't know these people because they was fucking with my head for so long with this black magic shit. So, um, until I, I get, I guess, uh, reach the point of healing all the way through from this malicious stuff. Um, this is the energy of a married couple. All right. And it's the, the main male who is spiritually weak. Okay. Because he does not want to choose to heal from his childhood trauma. He's accepting his toxic behaviors as his own. And he's definitely not trying to uh, do what he needs to do. But he, uh, the person that you are connected to that ghosted you, all right, was very arrogant, big dick energy. He created boulders and problems for you, for your spiritual connection. And him lying to you, saying that he will never hurt you, was an expectation of him making toil and labor in your life to create boulders. So this masculine energy is weak, like I said, and you need to stay away from him. Stay committed in your home and, be, and follow your intuition. Listen to your ancestors, your spirit guides, and ascended masters about this weak main male, all right, who is already in a commitment, okay, he is no good, your new beginnings, your spiritual beginnings, your child closing out this cycle is going to lead you uh, away from this lower vibration that's going to keep you sad, and the divine is giving you, because of the hard work that you put in and you invested in loving yourself, and you knew that this person was no good, and you're being wise and listening to the divine you're going to have abundance in your life, okay? And move in silence. You do not have to uh, talk to this masculine. Do not give him your time or day or energy. And the message of concern uh, with this main male who is spiritually weak is that the divine stepped in and he is restoring balance within your surroundings and also in your life, okay? And this is a Sagittarius energy who needs to be disciplined who is in a 100% karmic family tie and he is reminiscing about your sex but it's only for this because that's what he wants it is not for him to he's playing the role of I want to apologize and give you some roses and come to your house and be in playful energy and tell you about his family and and he's disciplined and, and I'm not codependent no more. I'm not looking at you for an easy come up. It's a lie. You're unbothered. Remain unbothered because you are the gift. You don't have to accept anything from him. The divine is going to give you your new beginnings, like I said. And your ancestors is in on this. So this masculine is going through spiritual warfare as far as in spiritual um, court concerning you because he stole from you whether if it was your energy your time your effort or your money in physical form it does not i mean it does matter but i'm just hitting it on the head for anybody who will resonate with so while you are at home and you are receiving downloads from the divine and your gifts are enhancing this masculine who is spiritually weak may know who is married he left you behind and, and married somebody else and put toil and labor on you. Now he's going through it. So this is like a reversal. Going back to what I was saying, this masculine was very immature. See, funny represents childish behavior. And he is thinking deeply about the past, about what he did to you and how arrogant he was towards you. All right. And he's looking at you as an upgrade because you are the main female. But you're not for him. You're not his main female. You're not supposed to be signed to do anything with this masculine. He is a fucking karmic. And he's only looking at this as a job. Because you are the privileged lady. Can I kiss you? It's all for this. Femmes, please pay attention. He is into your boobs. This masculine is very immature. This cycle is over. It's ended. Him talking about you being his world and and, all, and he's looking at you as an upgrade. He's a pussy boy. That's exactly what he is. A childish Gambino. That's what he wants. He wants full control. He wants you 
to always address him as yes, daddy. When you're not even fucking job, you don't have a job. You're spiritually weak. You, you're sad all the fucking time. You're always putting boulders and rocks in people's ways. And then you're hiding your malicious ways of you being in a relationship already and possibly got children. So, again, collective, if this resonated with any film, please like, share, subscribe, and take heed. Stay away from this, this karmic masculine. Do not give him your body, your time, effort, or energy. Let this person be stuck where they need to be at. Because they're not going to do anything but create it, even more hindrances for you to elevate spiritually where you need to be. These people are coming back around from your past to actually hinder you. And block you from receiving because they're jealous and upset. Take heed. Have a good day.